Streptococcus thermophilus is a gram-positive bacteria. This means that they are positive in gram stain tests and appear purple in color. This is because gram-positive bacteria have a thick peptoglycan cell wall that can retain the dye. In the tree of life, we can find them in the firmicute film. They are part of the Bacilli class, Lactobacillus order, member of Streptococcasia family, and a part of the Streptococcus genus. These bacteria are non-motile. However, as they reside in the gastrointestinal system, they move along with the peristaltic waves of the tract. These waves not only allow the food to be moved along, but also prevent bacteria from growing and spreading inside. Also, this bacteria does not produce endospores, even so it's characteristic of firmicutes. There are also bacteria who are fimbrated. This means that they have a fimbria. Fimbria are composed of the same proteins as pili, but are shorter and thinner. They help the cell adhere to surfaces for protection. S. thermophilus is a facultative anaerobic organism. This means that they can make ATP by aerobic respiration if oxygen is present, but are also capable of switching to fermentation or anaerobic respiration if oxygen is absent. Even so, both of these processes begin with glycolysis, both later differ in process. Aerobic respiration produces 28 to 32 ADP molecules, while anaerobic produces 4 molecules. In a paper published in 1995, gene coding with RNA shows that S. thermophilus is closely related to S. vestibularis. In the year 2003, coding was done with RNA, RNase, and RNPB, and it shows the same relation as before. In the year 2010, Coding was done with the gene RECN, and it shows no variation. We can then affirm that the sister species is S. vestibularis. Talking about the genome, this species has a genome size of 30 kb to 45 kb. Many studies have been done to see the pathogenicity of this bacteria, as many phylogenetic close species have been found to be pathogenic, like Streptococcus pneumoniae, that is linked to pneumonia. Out of 1,900 coding sequences, 80% are orthologous genes to other streptococcal genes. Orthologous genes are homologous genes that diverged after evolution and maintain a similar function to that ancestral gene. This shows that S. thermophilus and its pathogenic relatives still share some traits. However, S. thermophilus has 10% of pseudogenes due to mutation. This proportion is the highest among sequenced streptococcal genomes. It is believed that here many pathogenic genes were lost. Also, many streptococcal virulence related genes are absent, such as antibiotic modification genes. This all means that there is a severely diminished pathogenic potential. Their geographical distribution is worldwide. As locally, they can be found in the gastrointestinal system, meaning that they are probiotic bacteria. They can also be found in fermented milk products, such as milk and cheese. S. thermophilus is primarily used in the production of yogurt. Along with Lactobacillus vulgaricus, these bacteria are in charge of doing lactic fermentation to provide energy and lactate. These break down lactose into subunits and then use glucose to complete fermentation. Lactate reduces pH of milk, causing tartness. They also have medical benefits, such as improving digestion. For example, they can reduce antibiotic-associated diarrhea. Also, they can enhance immunity by helping fight respiratory infections and prevent ulcers caused by H. pylori. Other benefits that these include are the increase of anti-tumor activity and reduce the chance of kidney stones. This bacteria was discovered by biologist Eli Michnikov in 1907. He was studying the lifespan of Caucasian and European shepherds. He correlated higher lifespan to European shepherds because of consumption of fermented milk. An interesting fact about this bacteria is that it has crisp mediated phage resistance. A bacteriophage is a virus that infects and replicates within a bacterium. CRISP, in simple words, is the ability to edit the genome. It's for this reason that S. thermophilus is widely studied. As you can see, Streptococcus thermophilus is an important part of our world. Not only is it a major player in the industrial process of dairy food production, but it's also a healthy and helpful addition to the digestive system of humans. Created using Powtoon.